exactly how we always treat it. It's, it like, isn't that the main one? Like, it's like when you think about it, like uh -huh. that always seems to be the main one everybody thinks about, right? It's right. like white and black and they frown upon it like oh hispanic and black it ain't that bad but they have to understand some of these hispanic mothers or fathers they, they ain't with that they like you better bring somebody who's hispanic it's like not, they they're not yeah all the energy comes one way that's not the truth right and My, the first question I would say, first off, I'm not growing up in black American culture. You know how you throw everybody in mm -hmm. one pot? Mm -hmm. My background is Haitian. So the whole perception of sister is different for me compared to other people. Because what y'all would consider sister, I'm like, hey, black is black. I'm not looking at it like, because my mom is not looking at it like, hey, you need a black American woman. Uh -huh. She's like, you need a woman that's going to be good and take care of you. So I'm not having that mindset. So I'm not exclusive to I need an African-American woman. Because then right. with my culture, it's like because the Haitian background, you can find a ni nice woman who is black, but maybe Bahamian, maybe right. Jamaican. Right. You hit all the islands and all the Caribbean cultures. You realize like you're not limited to american culture in terms right. of what we consider a, a viable fit so that's what kind of changed it for me but with me i just need a peace of mind i sometimes i feel like we grow up we're in the reality tv generation so all that extra hot you know energy and it's crazy i'm like that's too much for me i just need my calm my peace let's keep the house in order and i don't think in other cultures you get all that same energy how do you feel about that like what's your culture what energy do you feel you pro you provide because you are americanized because now you're part of american culture but still that you have a colombian background so how would you compare your energy compared to American culture's energy. That's a little tricky to say because I'm both American and Colombian. However, I identify myself more as Colombian than I do American. Like, so I think as a modern American woman, I have that sense of independentness and I have that sense to strive on my own and be able to do you know what i want whatever i need it buy my own things things of that nature and then i also as a colombian woman and the traditions that were in my household was you know i saw my mom literally cook clean go to work feed my dad like you know be able to take out his clothes and do all that stuff so those small things those small little traditions that I learned are still ingrained in me um but I think now it's more of the perspective of I just don't give that to anybody because I think that's a very big privilege and I think that that goes around with different cultures as well because I also know Caribbean women who do the same thing and also just women as a whole if you have that tradition in your household it just gets passed on I mean, I wonder that too, because I don't know, growing up in Miami, I definitely saw a lot more interracial relationships than I did anywhere else. It's just not, it just depends on what inter like what kind of, like who is interracial. Does that make sense? What do you mean by who is interracial? Is it just strictly black, white? Like, if you're saying I'm like, yeah, Hispanic like, and it... I'm black, we're not interracial. But if you white and black, it's interracial. Like, what that's do you, what, what do you like mean that, that? Like, that's what. I, well, obviously, interracial can also be Hispanic and black. It could be his like interracial is everything. Hispanic, it could be white and, and like it could be white and black. It could be you know black and hispanic asian and white like you know asian and hispanic there's just different cultures i think automatically sometimes i feel that when people see interracial dating they just automatically see a white individual and a black individual together it's funny how we always treat it it's, it like isn't that the main one like it's like when you think about it 
like that always seems to be the main one everybody thinks about right it's like white and black and they frown upon it like oh hispanic and black it ain't that bad but they have to understand some of these hispanic mothers or fathers they they ain't with that they like you better bring somebody who's hispanic it's like not, they think, they're not yeah all the energy comes one way that's not the truth right and like the thing is i think it just depends on who you're like like there's just because even being part and like being colombian there is also black colombians so then even at that sometimes it like i know couples who have dated who are you know one is lighter and one is a darker skin and they're both the same they're both from the same place it just there you do have a different type of privilege so I think that oh, that's different also type of privilege. what kind of privilege light skin privilege enlighten the people like enlighten you... the people on the light skin privilege but go ahead yeah no I like I honestly especially like with everything going on I think that that you so being I have been in an inner like in an inner racial relationship and I've had to learn a lot of things that are different from my perspective compared to theirs like you know some things are some things are the same like I feel like sometimes some things are the same because I am Hispanic and the way that we you know deal with our families and you know have like just you know you're able like we i feel like there's a commonality between like hanging out with your families like you know you guys are always together all the time like we're always together all the time you know things like that however it's just different when it comes to me like being like with someone looking at me and then automatically thinking i'm white because i'm lighter skin Thanks for watching and good night, bitches.
Thanks for watching, and good night, bitches.